Hello, I am Dr. Weil Harp from the Horizon Oncology Center in Lafayette, Indiana. In my review article, I discuss the challenges and treatment options for the management of patients with hormone receptor positive breast cancer and visceral disease, and consider the current therapeutic approaches undergoing clinical investigations. In 2014, it was estimated that 40,000 women in the United States were expected to die as a result of breast cancer. To complicate matters, the treatment of breast cancer patients presenting with visceral metastases, which is associated with a poor prognosis, can also be problematic. Up to 80% of breast cancers are hormone receptor positive. That is, they are positive for either the estrogen receptor or the progesterone receptor, or positive for both. As a result, endocrine therapy is an important treatment option for women with hormone receptor positive breast cancer. Although chemotherapy is commonly perceived to be more effective than endocrine therapy in managing visceral metastases, patients who are not in visceral crisis might benefit from endocrine therapy thus avoiding the chemotherapy-associated toxicities that might affect their quality of life. Current endocrine therapies available for the treatment of, for advanced breast cancer include selective estrogen receptor modulators, which inhibit estrogen binding to the estrogen receptor, non-steroidal and steroidal aromatase inhibitors, which suppress estrogen synthesis through the aromatase pathway, estrogen receptor antagonists, progestins, and luteinizing hormone releasing hormone agonists, which suppress ovarian production of estrogen. However, the long-term effectiveness of endocrine therapies is limited because many tumors are either intrinsically resistant to these treatments or they will eventually develop resistance. In patients resistant to some types of endocrine therapies, including selective estrogen receptor modulators, and aromatase inhibitors, the estrogen receptor antagonist fulvestrant has been approved for the treatment of postmenopausal women with hormone receptor positive advanced breast cancer with disease progression following anti-estrogen therapy. Also, in recognition of the crosstalk between estrogen receptor and other signaling pathways, Several target therapies are being investigated in combination with endocrine therapy for patients with endocrine-resistant hormone receptor-positive advanced breast cancer. Currently, the mammalian target of rabamycin, or mTOR, inhibitor, everolimus, in combination with exemestine, is approved for the treatment of postmenopausal women with hormone receptor-positive human epidermal growth factor receptor 2, or HER2 negative breast cancer after failure of treatment with letrozole or anastrozole. Additional targets under investigation include HER2 directed therapies, epidermal growth factor receptor targeted therapies, histone deacetylase inhibitors, and cyclin dependent kinase inhibitors. In conclusion, the data presented in my review may provide some insights on the effectiveness of current and investigational treatments in this patient population. I hope you find my article informative.